plays Cash Blasters play well Cash Blaster plays uh, Star Citizen Arena Commander um, this is the uh, fancy premium hangar that everyone with uh, ridiculously huge ships or a lot of ships gets um, it's a uh, only available to me for the uh, next great star starship competition. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be uh, playing Arena Commander Vandal Swarm, blowing up some guys, uh, showing everyone how to how the uh, game plays, uh, going over a couple of misconceptions people have had about the game. Um, Mostly in regards to maneuverability and targeting, um, and most most people who are angry about uh, the things they're angry about have uh, some some right to be angry, some valid points. But I think some uh, some people are making a bigger deal out of things than they uh, need to be, and uh, possibly not. Um, not recognizing that even if the game, even if we consider this alpha for the uh, dogfighting module part of the game and not pre-alpha, um, which everyone seems to like to argue about, there are only three ships available and the game balance is totally not finished. Uh, they're still working on the gameplay and uh, I don't know. Um, there's just a lot more work to be done on the game, so should probably stop assuming that things are final. Um, this is my 300i. I recently upgraded from the Aurora MR, uh, and not that I was really flying the Aurora MR, I was flying a trainer version. Um, it comes with some missiles, four, two racks, four missiles, two missiles per rack. Uh, these are my uh, laser cannons. Uh, there are my Omniskis. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've got one over here, one over on the other side, on the other side of the wing. Um, my weapon layout symmetrical. Over on the front is another Omniski. It would usually be a, a faster, um, lower energy, uh, lower damage pulse laser cannon, but I happen to like uh, more damage less frequently. Um, I think it's pretty cool that we can customize our ships. This. Uh, early in the game. I mean, I guess you've been able to do it in the hangar module for a while. Um, I've been kind of staying out of the hangar module for the most part until I thought Arena Commander was coming out because uh, I knew that I would just uh, get myself psyched up for a game I didn't know when it was coming out. Pretty pumped now that it's out. Um, so yeah, important thing. You saw me put my uh, helmet on in the beginning. Um, a lot of people have been unable to use, or they They've been complaining that they can't use the Arena Commander because they forget that their helmet is on. If you put your helmet on, you never put your helmet back on the pedestal. When you log out, you log in, it remembers that you had your helmet on. Uh, so sometimes your helmet won't be there. People have thought it was missing. Uh, at least one person actually did have their helmet missing, so that gets confusing. So we're going to play Vandal Swarm on Broken Moon. Uh, the reason we're playing on Broken Moon and not the far cooler Dying Star is because it's pretty hard to see the Vandal um, on Dying Star because their whole color scheme is gray and black and red and Dying Star is gray and black and red. So it's a little bit more uh, visibility on Broken Moon. I don't plan on editing this video very much. Um, so I figure that uh, a map where you can actually see the people I'm fighting is probably uh, worth playing on. Right now, I'm flying with the Thrustmaster T16000M. Um, it's a really nice joystick. Uh, it's an ambidextrous joystick. I have it set up for right-hand mode. You can set it up for ambidextrous or left. Um, the I do have uh, a problem sort of with the fact that there are 12 uh, buttons on the base. You can only access six at a time, really, because otherwise you have to reach over awkwardly. Uh, it would have been nice if maybe they put some on the front or uh, I don't know but I really like the joystick uh, it's very accurate it feels very nice um, I've remapped my controls there's no official way to do this through the UI yet um, I've been doing it uh, you can edit the XML files that uh, map the control configuration use multiple controllers um, 
which is uh, very nice. Um, Origin jump work. So, this is the cockpit of my 300i. Um, I like it. It's pretty nice. Uh, uh, some waves are coming. So yeah, I'll be using the T16000M. Um, and I might switch over to... I have an Xbox gamepad hooked up. Uh, which is a pretty good default layout. I didn't edit the layout for that. Just let it edit the layout for my uh, 1600M. Uh, I might also use the mouse and keyboard uh, for a little bit. I'll let you know if I'm switching to those. Uh, just to demonstrate, um, to demonstrate what the flight is like with various controllers. It's a bit hard to. I mean, you can't see what I'm doing. Um, but something that I've done uh, with my my 1600M, which is prob probably makes the most difference other than having the air, the sorry, not air brake, but the the uh, the brake and the decoupling and the boost on the controller, which is immensely helpful, is that I have also uh, switched uh, usually the X axis on the T1600M. Uh, it by default controls. Um, roll, and I've set it up to control yaw, so I can go left and right with uh, with the controller. I'm not sure why I'm starting to black out here. Um, I find that kind of interesting because I have G-Safe on, and G-Safe is supposed to stop that from happening. Uh, I managed to do that a few times though, and. Um, I found, I, I'm not sure why, uh, you can, because I feel like, uh, earlier when I was playing with a different layout, uh, that I couldn't manage to get myself to even black out a little bit with G-Safe on, so I'm not sure, um, what that is. I also, um, am concerned that I've somehow managed to map, uh, roll and yaw currently to my x-axis, um, which Stern is not something that I wanted to Stern do. Um, and that wasn't like that before. My Stern control configuration eliminated. appears to have gotten Proximity a little messed up. Um, refreshing shields. Uh, interesting. Warning. There are multiple hostiles inbound. Is so if I'm looking like this. Contact. No, that's pure that's pure yeah. Alright, my control setup is correct. I was worried for a moment that it got messed up. I had to delete my user folder because the uh, the game. I mean, it's an it's alpha or pre-alpha, depending on who you ask. So it's obviously not very stable. Scan um, initiated. Also, having targeting controls on your uh, joystick is extremely helpful. And there is a mapping for the Logitech uh, Extreme 3D Pro, which is very similar to the joystick. It's not as accurate. Scan um, initiated. That's proximity. Alert. Not. Uh, that's like not me uh, ripping on it. It seems like a really nice joystick. It just is designed differently, and um, it doesn't have the levels, the same level of uh, accuracy or sensitivity as this joystick. Um, Stern shielding at half strength. Uh, all right. So my shields are not doing very well. Uh, something that I want to work on in the future is uh, getting some buttons to change uh, where the shields are strongest to um, uh, I think I was decoupled for there so it's really easy uh, here's something about the the combat um, it's really it's really quite easy to forget if you are coupled or decoupled um, especially since I remap my yaw to X because in normal mode roll is uh, X which is not a fun way to play and um, in Star Citizen, which just made some people angry because they want like the uh, World War II style dogfighting experience, and your your ship flies more like a space car. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, the thing about it is that uh, it used to switch between roll and yaw depending on whether you're coupled or decoupled, which is extremely frustrating. So this is a lot. Um, 
a lot easier in some ways, but it's a lot easier to forget that you're coupled, uh, or you're decoupled, which means that you're just floating through space in a straight line, uh, which is really bad for dodging projectiles. Uh, do we have a little king here? We do. Uh, so I'm going to take this guy out, because otherwise he is going to do some nasty things to me. Um, but you'll notice I'm not, I'm not really paying attention. I'm not maybe playing as well as I would be if I wasn't talking and like thinking about uh, what I was going to talk about next. Uh, and I'm still uh, killing these guys pretty easily. I think that people who are upset about joysticks either have uh, joysticks a lot of dead zone, kind of inaccurate, they end up like jerking all over the place, or uh, they maybe need a little bit more practice. Um, because I find it extremely easy up until about wave 8 to take these guys out. Uh, and I guess maybe I'll eat my words and end up uh, having a hard time um, a few waves in. But, I mean, right now, like, this is very little effort, and I'm not managing my shields. There's also a, a three-way energy management system that you can use to switch power from shields to thrusters to weapons. Um, so if you, like, are really in a pinch and you need your shields to recharge quickly and you don't plan on using your weapons, you can, like, reallocate your, uh, your power systems on the fly. Um, I haven't used any missiles yet, um, which are like easy mode, because you just hit that, you lock, you press uh, the same button again, it's, uh, I have that mapped to a button on my joystick, and you're good to go, you just fire a missile, and the chance that it's not going to hit them, uh, these guys are not very good at evasive maneuvers, um, they are, they don't have flares from what I can tell, I think in the higher, the higher waves they do, yeah. um, but yeah, these scavengers are really quite easy, uh, and the hunters are not so bad either. The specials are kind of a pain, but they don't get really bad up until wave 11 or so. Um, the priest and the little king are uh, pretty easy to take out. You're gonna see the you're gonna see the priest soon. Um, but uh, yeah, the alphas. There are these units um, called the alphas. And uh, they start showing up around, I think, wave 7 or 8. And they will really wreck you. And uh, by wave 11, there's one special, uh, like the Priest and Little Kings. I forget what his name is. And the uh, and there are also two Alphas. And the Alphas alone, if you're focusing on anything else, will like annihilate you almost instantly. Um, so it's, it's pretty rough. I haven't gotten past wave 11. It's as far as I've gotten. Uh, I got up to, like, wave, uh, I think, uh, 8 or 9 or so in the Aurora, which I'm pretty surprised about after flying the 300i. The 300i is a big step up. Um, this is frustrating. Uh, I, you see how I, like, I just clip that guy? Sometimes I'll hit them dead on, and uh, it will not destroy me. Other times, I will just, like, I'll just knock into them ever so slightly, and I'm done. I'm, like, out. Uh, I don't entirely understand it. Also, I guess there's some way, if you uh, eject before you die, um, you can sort of... Uh, if you eject before you die, you can sort of cheat the game, and I think you get infinite lives. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I've heard. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not. Like, I guess if you eject, then maybe it's, it's thought like, hey, well, your, like, buddies came and got you. Um, I don't see how that would work in practice with all these waves coming, but, um, I guess it's not really adequately explained. I, it, well, it's a simulation, so, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I have no idea if that's intentional or if that's a bug, but, uh, it happens to, I think, let you just keep getting lives. Um, initiated. And I don't know whether I'll do that for this. I guess I might, but, um... Yeah. That, see, that was close. And these guys will actually, like, these guys will battle charge you, uh, which is pretty frustrating. But, oh. Um, alright, see, and that just hit my shield. You see, like, I actually, that actually moved me, um, uh... We lost a friendly. I... I don't understand. My ship wasn't rotating, so clearly I didn't. I just barely uh, nicked the guy last time. Uh, but you'll notice that I just like exploded, even though I had no damage. So I think the damage model in this is a little weird. I think maybe that it's so intricate, uh, but not the kinks aren't fully worked out yet. And what ends up happening is like uh, there are like uh, parts of the game physics that 
uh, the numbers don't quite work out, maybe uh, results in, uh, in death when maybe it shouldn't. Um, I do wonder a little bit if my uh, my game sounds are too high, but I guess we'll see. I really like having these three Omniski lasers because they they are uh, some of the most damaging. They fire very slowly, but they do a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Um, Uh, oh, and see, this is my problem, is I'm forgetting that I'm decoupled. Proximity alert. Um, and this is something that uh, is pretty useful to do. I have never actually, I don't have to turn off G-Safe. You notice those asteroids uh, don't look very good, it's because I have it on medium settings. Um, I'd have it on high, I was worried about how my frame rate would be with OBS. I think it'd probably be fine, uh, but just to be safe, I turn the graphics settings. I've been running pretty smoothly on very high, though, which is the highest graphics setting in this. Um, uh, sort of lost my train of thought there. Um, Yeah, just gotta make sure I dodge those guys after I kill them. Um, uh, but... Oh, jeez. Uh, this is concerning. Um, I really, 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 really want to get my shields back up. And it's usually a good time to run away. If you can hide behind uh, an asteroid, it's usually worthwhile to do so. You see the LOD kick in? You like never notice that happen on very high settings. Um, the asteroids pretty much look perfect all the time. Um, which is really pretty nice. Uh, Hostile eliminated. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Sometimes my game chokes when things get really close and I can't tell if it's the LOD like loading stuff from my hard drive or if it is, yeah like that. Uh, when I blow stuff up. I think it might just be all of the the ship fragmenting. I think it loads a bunch of models all at once. I don't know if having more RAM would help with that or not. I only have 8 gigs, which I mean seems like it would be enough, but I don't know how much prefetching this game will do. What wave am I on? I am on wave 5 uh, in 12 minutes. That's really not too bad. Uh, I think that's better than I have been doing recently. Um, it's really nice. Is uh, I know some people think the learning curve is too high, or that the flight model is just completely flawed. Uh, there's that priest I was talking about, by, by the way. Um, but uh, I really like it, and I think the more you, it just takes some getting used to. It's not atmospheric flight, and I would never expect it to act like atmospheric flight. Now um, I'm gonna missile lock this guy. Oh, because. He is going to ruin my day if I don't. Um, uh, we're... Alright, so now we've taken him out. Um, he, is, he is really nasty. Uh, mostly just because he uses missiles. And um, I haven't mastered using flares yet. Uh, you really have to time it correctly, because if you use your flare too soon, it won't do a thing. And if you use it too late, well, I mean, I bet you can guess what happens if you use your flare too late. Uh, so you want to be right on the money with that. And uh, it's pretty hard to get the timing down, especially since with everything that's going on, it's easy to sort of uh, not pay attention to some of your warnings. Um, Proximity alert. Stern ooh, ooh. At half uh, I don't like that. Initiated. That that was kind of a dick thing that this guy did. Um, I hate how they get right up close to you and then stop. Um, and see, I was decoupled again. This is what will really get you. If you, uh, oh my. I don't like that error. It says that your weapon systems uh, have received catastrophic damage, and that actually just means that one of my weapons is down. Um, um, which is, I would say, not catastrophic, but sometimes it means all of your weapons are non-functional. 
which uh, is pretty catastrophic. So I don't know. I want a little bit more verbosity in the uh, in the weapons notifications, which I guess we're gonna get. That's one of the things I've heard uh, that they're working on for the next release of Arena Commander. Something else I've heard they've work they're working on is see this when my uh, reticle turns into a diamond. Uh, that means. Um, I, and I actually guess I haven't been talking about the targeting system. If you're not using the targeting system, you are not playing Arena Commander. And I um, I know at least one person, one of our fellow Cash Blasters, I won't name him, uh, Bobby, uh, he, he didn't realize that you had to... Um, he didn't realize that you have to actually target people. And so now I want to hold, because I really need those repairs. Um, and I'm not going to get them. Wow, that really sucks. Uh, but anyway, he didn't realize you had to use the targeting system. Uh, when you, you, I have all the same weapon, uh, but even my weapon's position are different. And uh, in some cases, your projectile speeds will, different, will be different. And that means that you have to lead for all of your different weapons. And it's actually impossible. You would need like three separate mouse cursors for like three separate weapons um, in order to like predictively fire in front of um, a person that you wanted to hit so that by the time your weapon your projectiles arrived at them they would be where they are um, and that's impossible for that many weapons um, because you would need several cursors um, and so what they do is they have a uh, an automatic leading system that will, if you just fire at the target, automatically overshoot in order to compensate for the fact that they're moving and your projectiles don't travel to them instantly despite the fact that they're made of light and um, all that other nonsense. Uh, and some people have mistaken it for auto-aim, uh, which it is not. Uh, it, some other people also, uh, I don't know. Some people are frustrated that they don't get a, we don't get a leading indicator and that it leads for us. That I guess is uh, maybe somewhat valid, but you have leading indicators for different weapons probably. Uh, that was a really bad thing that I just did. Uh, it's gonna really affect my ability to get to further waves. Um, see, I'm really interested by this uh, G-force. There hasn't been a patch or anything, but suddenly uh, I am experiencing. Uh, some pretty crazy G's uh, from turning, and my G-safe system is not protecting me from the, well, I mean, it's probably stopping me from blacking out entirely, but it's not doing the job I expect it to do, which is to completely keep me from uh, even starting to black out, um, which is kind of cool, I guess, because it means it lets up on you if you really push it hard. It doesn't always force you to... Uh, go super slowly, turn super slowly, um, and I think it'll be kind of nice if uh, we can sort of configure how, uh, not violent, but how aggressive the G-Safe and the Comstab are. Uh, I should talk about G-Safe and Comstab. G-Safe uh, keeps you from changing your, vol your angular velocity so much that like, uh, if you imagine, um, it's, it, people talk about G-force, and, and, and I mean it's measured in the units of gra units of gravity, and so people seem to think that it has to do with gravity, and in zero gravity, it doesn't exist. And um, a good example of G-force uh, without involving gravity is when you're in your car and you go on an exit on the highway, you take a really sharp turn. You don't like decelerate enough. The way you like feel yourself fighting against. Um, sort of like being flung to the side of your car. Uh, that doesn't involve gravity, because gravity isn't lateral. I don't know if you've noticed, but we don't like jump up and fall sideways. Uh, and so that's the sort of thing in, you're going much faster in a spaceship than you would be in a car. And if at 300 miles an hour, you change your uh, velocity vector, you make say a 90 degree turn like you might make in your car, uh, instead of just feeling uncomfortable, like you're being pulled to the side, you'll be splattered against your windshield. Uh, so that is how G-Force can exist in space. Um, and I think because I have my yaw mapped to, uh, because I have my yaw mapped to my x-axis, it's really letting me, like, diagonally pull some Gs that, uh, maybe, maybe I wouldn't normally be able to. Um, alright, so I'm gonna try and take out these hunters first. 
But I'm going to hide behind an asteroid um, and let my allies take some of the heat and let these guys spread out some. If you attack the Vanduul um, while they're all clustered yeah. together, they you will annihilate you. Um, also, people talk about how like the flight model in this doesn't let you maneuver like through asteroid fields and do cool stuff like that. Um, I really want the whole six degrees of freedom that people are begging for and that we've been promised and that the devs keep Runway saying down. in the next release we're going to have it. Um, so I don't know why people keep complaining. Uh, but um, you can really do most anything Eliminated. with the current system. Um, Proximity uh, you alert. can really pilot quite well, and I really like the way the game feels. I think a lot of the people who are frustrated by the uh, flight are probably have auroras. Um, but I was talking about G-Safe. Yeah, so anyway, your uh, G-Safe system, when it's enabled, you can disable it. Um, I am not going to, because I don't like blacking out, and I actually would like to get pretty far on this and show you the later waves. Um, but it keeps you from making turns so fast that you uh, black out from the G-Force, uh, which um, is really not not a, not productive toward getting very far when you can't see anything. Um, Comstab is similar. It keeps you uh, sort of from inducing a lot of drift or uh, like painful uh, like oscillations and things um, by really jerking your control around. It can only do so much if you're going to fly like a maniac. Uh, but it lets you sort of fly your ship as if you were in atmospheric flight, even though you're not. So when you change your flight vector, you're not like drifting around and sliding as much, which can help with aiming and uh, really help with a lot of stuff. Um, And, uh, yeah, it's nice. I like to keep them on, because I don't think that they, um, they affect my flight that much, mostly because, uh, people talk about turreting, which is, like, when you, when you, uh, decouple, and then to just, uh, when you decouple so that you can, uh, aim around like I'm doing. I've remapped, like, like I said, I remapped my, um, X to yaw, so I kind of fly like a space turret anyway so i don't really need to do that although i didn't find that i really needed to do it uh when i had the old mapping either um but uh yeah i mostly use decoupling so that i can turn quickly because you'll notice i'm chasing this guy around i haven't decoupled uh i'm going to decouple now i can turn really fast uh and it doesn't uh negatively affect me it doesn't cause me to black out um, because you're not changing your angular velocity because your thrusters are uh, your main thruster is off so you're really just even though you're turning sideways you're not changing your direction of movement uh, which is important because it doesn't uh, and the ship attempts to fly around the cockpit or to rotate around the cockpit so uh, so that your um, pilot is Scan initiated. is uh, exposed to as little g-force as possible in a turn where you are not actually uh, changing your angular velocity. Um, if I misuse any physics terminology, feel free to correct me. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, all that's really nice and useful. Um, uh, so I'll just show you. So you see how you can move your targeting, your targeting indicator where your guns fire uh, with the mouse. That's just me showing you for a moment. Back to joystick. Uh, it stays put uh, with the joystick where you're aiming. Uh, people have complained that you can move that with the mouse, but you don't really get to do that with joystick unless you have a HODAS set up or you're using an Xbox controller, which I can play pretty well with an Xbox controller, not nearly as well as this thing. Um, but what they neglect to take into account... Oh, that was bad. Um, is that... Uh, I'm going to go... Um, okay, I'm gonna fire a missile at this guy. Um, 
launched. Refreshing shields. Achieved missile lock. Flare launched. Oh, this is really quite Achieved bad. Missile lock. Okay. Stern shielding nice kill. at seventy-five percent. All right. Let's go get this hunter. Um, I can't believe how well my uh, sorry, I, I I couldn't talk there because I I really had to focus on killing that bloodhound. Um, I I was really worried about that. I can't believe that I just got hit by a missile uh, and I'm still doing as well as I am. And uh, obviously I did just jinx it because uh, yeah, because this it just isn't gonna work. Um, oh boy. Uh, so this is how your, uh, your ship flies when it has very few thrusters. Um, it's pretty interesting, uh, that you can still fly like this. I don't know what thrusters are disabled. Uh, I was gonna try and show you there on my UI, but, uh, I unfortunately got destroyed. Um... But even if you have like two thrusters, your uh, your flight computer is like uh, fully Origin like physically simulated feedback service. control loop that will intelligent figure intelligently figure out how to rotate your thrusters and thrust them to like orient you correctly. Even if you just have one thruster, uh, unfortunately, the uh, fewer thrusters you have, the fewer the less thrust you have, and the crazier it has to swing around in order to accommodate whatever movement you want out of it. Uh, which means if your thrusters get too damaged, you're not going anywhere. Um, I really wish these guys, these guys are like, um, doing some serious damage to me. Um, uh, oh, and, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to eject uh, in the hopes that maybe I can uh, respawn. Um, I think this is cheating, so uh, hold on a moment. We'll see if I can respawn now. Alright, good. So that's where I actually would have gotten to if I... Operational uh, contact. If I had just let myself die, that's where I would have gotten to. Uh, wave 9. Uh, so not not as far as I did last time. Uh, I think I got there a little bit faster. But um, maybe not conserving as, uh, as much shield. Um, oh, jeez. Why are my weapons remapped? You know what? I've been firing, I thought that I had my three Omniskis, and I have my other, uh, my other laser. So this will be an interesting test. I guess that other, that pulse laser is pretty useful, huh? Because, uh, I normally wouldn't have been able to take someone out like that, um, from that far away. I usually have to get up a bit closer. And I think that's because I was able to take out their shields with that pulse laser a lot more efficiently than I normally would have. So we'll see how how well I start doing now that I realize that um, I that I haven't been using one of my lasers. Cause that's a little that's a little embarrassing. Um, this guy's really hugging the boundary. Um, it's making me a little bit nervous because I really don't want to go outside the boundaries because I will probably lose. Um, oh wow! Uh, all right. Well, yeah. You, so you really want to pay attention to that? It's really easy to say like, "Oh, my systems are overheating." Whatever. Um, I'll just wait until they come back online. If your systems go online, offline due to overheating, you're gonna have a really, really incredibly bad time. Um, because they take a long time to come. I don't actually know if they come back online. I believe they do, but it takes a. Uh, it takes quite a while. That was kind of idiotic. Did he just fly into the asteroid? I think he probably air braked to, uh... Eliminated. 
keep himself from really dying too quickly. Um, Alright. So this is fun. We're at wave 10. Um, I am about to get my ass kicked. Uh, just Contact disclaimer. Um, I can... I'm going to take out this alpha with a... Um, well, first I'm going to go hide in some asteroids, hopefully, if I can get there before these guys uh, come take me out. But uh, then I'm going to try and take out that alpha with a missile, because uh, he's going to do some serious damage to me. Um, I like getting up uh, in these asteroids, because it may forces them to, to move around a little bit more than they would. Um, I'm not too Play bad. Launched. Achieved missile lock. Proximity alert. Oh wow. Stern shielding um. at half strength. Stern shielding depleted. Uh, and see, I am panicking. Uh, I would usually be firing a lot more accurately than this. Um. Proximity alert. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can take out this alpha. Um, I'm gonna launch. lock onto him. Well, I realize my flare and my missile lock button are the same for some reason, so I really need to work on uh, my mappings. This. All right. So now we just have to deal with uh, the hunters, and the hunters are much, much, much more manageable than the alphas. Uh, which is not to say that they're not gonna destroy my ship. But uh, they're definitely going to uh, take a beating in the process, uh, and really, at the end of the day, isn't what that, that what uh, really matters. Oh. <sighs> I don't know how my thrusters are doing after that collision. Uh, probably not particularly well. Um, Proximity alert. I'm gonna go Scan take a quick spin initiated. around this asteroid, uh, because hopefully it will, uh, it will mess with these guys enough that I can get a bit of an edge. Um, man, I've gotten so used to high settings, I really don't like seeing that LOD. But yeah, this is the kind of play that, like, people are saying, oh, well, um, Star Citizen's no good because the flight model's too hard and asteroid play is like way too dangerous. You'll notice I'm not hitting anything. Um, asteroid fields are a blast in this game. And uh, well, I am hitting them, but uh, I have a tendency to do that anyway, because uh, I'm not good at evading their headbutts, because I, uh, I like to, to use the, their strategies against them. Um, whew, all right. Um, uh, do I have any allies left? I think... There are multiple hostiles inbound. I think I don't, which is pretty unfortunate. Contact. Uh, yeah, I really like hanging around these asteroid fields, because it makes it so much more difficult for the uh, Vendul to to get me. Um, they have to maneuver around these asteroids, and uh, they're not perfect. Uh, they are pretty maneuverable. They have some really nice ships, um, but they are not uh, perfect pilots. And it really shows around here because you can sort of hide behind stuff and coax them into sort of breaking formation. And once you do that, uh, of course, right now I'm out in the open. Uh, Flare launched. Oh no! Weapon system. Uh, that's not good. Catastrophic damage. What does catastrophic alert. damage mean? Oh, see, but. You really do have to be a pretty good pilot to do this asteroid stuff, which I like that there is some difficulty involved. Um, but I am not doing so hot right now because I just whacked into something. Um, Scan initiated. <sighs> Flare launched. Four shield depleted. Weapon system. Stern shielding. But my depleted. weapon system is completely down. Weapon I'm going to eject. Has received catastrophic damage. Um. All right, but uh, my my ejection system is actually broken. Uh, I can't eject. Um. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, I think I've probably lost, and I believe this is wave ten. 
Um, so that was definitely interesting. Um, what exactly is happening? All right. Well, we appear to have encountered a bug in uh, an arena commander. Um, I would really love to make a bug report so that maybe uh, this could be resolved, but I'm not sure what caused this, other than maybe my ejection system was broken, and I'm going to spam X. Um, okay. Uh, I think actually what's happening right now... Um, this is pretty funny, is I ejected, or maybe I didn't successfully eject, and I landed on a, an asteroid in a really awkward spot, very, very close to the edge of the map, and I think the Vendul will not go close enough to kill me. Um, and so what is happening is they are trying, and I'm sitting here almost entirely disabled. Uh, yeah, actually, you can see that. I can change my camera angle. Um, Scan initiated. Uh, hello. Scan initiated. This is actually pretty cool. Initiated. Um, but yeah, it appears that my whole ship blew up, and I'm somewhere he somehow here still. Well. Um, I guess this is as good a place as any to end it. Um, in summary, I really like this game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I think it's only going to get better. Uh, I don't know if I actually managed to touch on how the, uh, yeah, I did talk about the leading some. Anyway, something that I wanted to mention was that, oh, I've had enough of that. Uh, was that the uh, leading system actually has limits. There is a cone in front of your ship um, that your weapons will lead in, and they don't really fire, um, or they don't lead, your targeting system doesn't lead outside of there. And so the argument that mouse users have a great advantage because they can move their uh, targeting cursor anywhere um, in the cockpit is sort of moot because uh, you'll notice that if you move it very far left or very far right, you'll notice this limit to how far the gimbaled weapons can actually move. And you'll also notice that there is an even smaller, uh, like a few inch in radius uh, cone around the center line of your ship. Um, I guess the roll line where your targeting system doesn't work. And without weapons leading, um, and if you, wanna, if you want to verify this, uh, if you're a backer and you have access to, the, to Arena Commander, um, try playing without the targeting system for a little while and get back to me on how effective you are. Uh, having a, some sort of computer control leading system for all of your weapons is, uh, if not, uh, it's, it's definitely necessary um, to play the game. Uh, I guess maybe it doesn't have to work the way it does in uh, this particular version of Arena Commander, uh, but the game would be pretty impossible to play without it. Um, I'm wondering whether or not my hangar is bugged now. Origin oh no, we're fine. At your service. Um, Core system operational. So yeah, it might be worth considering that maybe uh, the mouse aim uh, in the mouse control mode is not as valuable as some people think it is, because if you reach the edge of that uh, cone of fire um, that your targeting system can lead in, then you won't be leading and you actually have to leave that cone of fire because uh, that's the same it has uh, the cone of fire is the same as the dead zone for uh, navigating with the mouse movement unless you're in the other mode and then you fly like a joystick um, and so you really can't move and fire at the same time uh, which is pretty rough and it's also very easy to like not realize that your leading indicator has gone away and like be just wasting uh, power and ammo um, so I don't know, the the mouse is sort of, I think, at least as much a handicap as it is a help. And I'm really hoping, uh, supposedly, the targeting system uh, with the gamepad, which works like the, 
it works as if you're using a joystick and also the mouse. The left stick acts like my Thrustmaster does, um, but the right stick lets you move uh, ar around the reticle like you would with the mouse. Unfortunately, it's not. It doesn't snap back to center. It uh, moves around kind of like this does. I'm moving the cursor around with my uh, 360 controller right now, uh, which is really non-ideal. Um, but supposedly, it's because it's tied to like the uh, hitting tab and using the uh, the ship system controls, uh, which is a uh, system used in other areas of the game, like the hangar module. And I guess there's going to be some work done on that to uh, make it a bit more intuitive. And I'm hoping the system that they will adopt is actually uh, the system that you, you can see it here, kind of, where uh, the, um, I actually think that's pretty interesting, uh, in the cockpit, if you're using the 360 controller, uh, wherever you move the, sort of the, the joystick to is where it holds. Um, so I can hold the joystick here and it will look here, I can hold the joystick here, and it'll look here. And I'm guessing that that is how the targeting is going to be um, using the right joystick or using a secondary joystick in Arena Commander once uh, the next version is out, or maybe two versions in. I'm guessing that'll probably be in the next version. Um, and that's going to be great. It's going to give uh, joystick users a huge leg up. And um, assuming that they give you the ability to limit your joystick movement, uh, so the max is inside of the cone of fire that your targeting system functions in. We may actually have an edge over uh, mouse users who don't have a joystick because we'll be able to control our movement and also very accurately and absolutely uh, within a uh, reference point to the center line of the ship be able to control our targeting. And that's going to be really, uh, that's going to be just invaluable. It's going to be awesome. Um, and I think... I mean, I'm worried that I'm going to like playing with an Xbox 360 controller more than my joystick, but my eventual plan is actually to play with one hand with a 360 controller and the other with a Thrustmaster, or to purchase two Thrustmasters and use both of them. Uh, but that's going to make it a bit harder to get at the uh, the lower buttons. Um, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um... I don't know that there's really anything I wanted to go over. I hope that I demonstrated uh, that the targeting system works pretty well. Um, it's very possible to be very accurate uh, with a joystick. Um, that maybe not wasn't the best demo. I'll probably get some flight footage at some point uh, where it's just me, um, where it's just me flying, not talking, so I'm less distracted. Um, I might still have voice enabled, but it'll probably just me be going, oh shit, uh, when someone's firing at me. Because um, right now I'm just trying to, to keep a track of what I'm talking about. Um, wow, the uh, well, the sounds in the game are, uh, are pretty loud right now. I really hope that that recorded okay. Um... But yeah, you can see, so I had to delete my uh, my user config folder because uh, what happened to me was that my uh, game wasn't launching. And that seems to fix just about everything, or anything. Um, the unfortunate side effect was that I lost some of my settings. Um, I'm trying to figure out where my last Omniski um, laser cannon is, and I believe it's on uh, this thing right here. I'm this interface for dealing with uh, your your weapons and everything is not the. I'm going to be honest and say it's not the greatest. Uh, it could use a little bit of work. It's been in the hangar module for a while. I don't know how uh, excusable it is that it is the way it is. Um, if there was something I was going to complain about, uh, considering how much work the, uh, or how long the hangar module has been around versus how much work went into just getting Arena Commander playable, considering that the, uh, the devs really had to, like, uh, it seems like they had to sort of rush to get it out, I would say that I'm, if I'm disappointed about anything, it's that this interface doesn't maybe work as well as it could. 
Uh, that's being pretty nitpicky. I actually really like the interface. It's just that uh, some of the hitboxes for things could be a little bit more explicit and a little bit bigger, a little bit more obvious. Um, but it's all very usable. Uh, it took me a bit of getting used to to figure out exactly how to use it. But here are my, this is my bearing. This is my uh, CF007 Bulldog repeater. Um, these are my laser cannons. I have lost an Omniski uh, 6 laser cannon. Which I find pretty interesting. I'm not sure where it went. Uh, but I'm pretty... Oh, maybe I didn't lose them. Alright, I'm sorry. Uh, here, I'm just jumping to conclusions. Here are my Omniskis. They're on my other... Uh, my other ship here. So... Now... I'm going to pull out my trainer 300i, which is the one I can actually fly. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, I have a bunch of Omniski laser cannons. These sixes, oh, these things are great. And that was... This is my uh, bearing 3A. It's a light, a light gun. Fires relatively fast. I think this one fires fast. This may be the slower one. This one, uh, this Bulldog Repeater fires very quickly. Uh, still not very powerful. I like going with the full Omniski loadout. Uh, top to bottom, because it gives me three cannons that are huge. Uh, they fire big lasers that just annihilate crap. And, uh, I don't know. I just like to. It, it's nice. You can like one shot scavengers with a well placed shot, which feels pretty good when you just shoot these guys out of the sky, especially coming from if you pilot the Aurora MR, you'll know exactly how frustrating it is to try and shoot down even the scavengers uh, take like a, a handful to like a dozen hits before they go down um but yeah anyway uh that's arena commander uh you get to see some of the uh the ship loadout um i am very happy with the way this game plays um and i hope that they continue uh working on the uh, targeting system, the flight the flight system, uh, I'm sure it could still use some work. Um, and I really hope the interface gets better that uh, playing with various controllers is a little bit, uh, feels a little bit more like the interface. It feels a lot like the interface right now was designed for mouse uh, and, and then like they also took into consideration that people would want joysticks, but then everything else feels a little like thrown together, like flying with a, a mouse and joystick or with two joysticks is really not um, particularly intuitive right now, uh, which I don't really mind, but I would be very happy to see it get better. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It feels it feels like it is very geared toward mouse and keyboard users, um, but I'm not one of the people who's offended by that because I know there are a lot of people who want to be able to enjoy this game who just barely had enough money to pledge. Uh, I remember what it was like to be like 14, 15 years old and a gamer and not have any money. Um, so, you know what? I'm happy for the mouse and keyboard users. I am quite confident from what I've heard from the devs and... Uh, there's very helpful users who have uh, filled me in because I've been a little bit out of the loop until Arena Commander launched um, on exactly what's being done to improve the current system. It really seems like things are headed in the right direction to me. Uh, I, we're going to get uh, six degrees of freedom so you can thrust up and down, left and right, forward and back, uh, while simultaneously uh, yaw, pitching and rolling. Um, it looks like the uh, the look the dual joystick look system for the gamepad, or if you have two joysticks, or if you're using a joystick and a gamepad, it's going to get better. Uh, we're going to have mappable controls. Um, I'm really interested to see where the mouse and keyboard um, input go and how they deal with that. A lot of people uh, on both sides of the argument, people for and against, uh, seem to have a lot of issues with it. Um, there are a handful of people that like it, um, but those are the people. Those are also just the people who are vocal on the uh, the forums, on other uh, stresses and communities, and uh, a lot of them may not actually be representing the people who are playing the game most because the Arena Commander still hasn't been out for that long. So I don't know. Uh, I think it's 
I think people are still speculating. People, uh, the tone of all of the communities has really been shifting pretty wildly as people get used to the game mechanics. I think uh, Arena Commander has a lot more depth than anyone was expecting uh, for something uh, right out of the gate. And uh, so, yeah, I will really be interested to see what the opinion is when uh, maybe the community um, stabilizes around it. Arena Commander, Arena Commander uh, stabilizes a little bit. People have more um, experience with it. And I do really have to wonder when uh, the next version, I think it's version 0 0.9, comes out because uh, I, think, I think it would be pretty funny uh, if everyone sort of gets in the loop uh, gets in the groove of things and uh, feels like they figured out Arena Commander and then 0 0.9 drops. And uh, it's just probably just going to be this all over again. Um, you know, it's fun. Um, I'm enjoying speculating about what's going to, where the game's going to go. Um, I really like this whole system for a uh, game, like gradual releases, the modular, uh, the modular release system uh, for the game. Um, I'm really excited to see uh, the multiplayer game modes. Uh, I really, I can't wait for multiplayer. It's going to be a blast. But I'm still pretty happy to play uh, Vandal Swarm right now because I haven't gotten up to uh, Wave 15 yet. And uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool when I can finally make it all the way up there. Um, and I'll be really excited to see after a lot of practice how well I fare against other players. I'm going to guess that. Uh, the gameplay in Vanduul Swarm is not going to be representative of the way people are actually flying and evading in the actual game. But we'll see. We'll see how good the AI is. Um, and I think it's going to be really cool to be able to play single player for a good long time and get good at it. And then uh, sort of have the multiplayer wrench thrown in the works. Uh, so yeah, that's um, Star Citizen Arena Commander. Um, I hope this was informative. Uh, I hope that you learned a little bit about how the game works. Um, if I got anything wrong, please feel free to correct me. Um, like I said, I've been out of sort of the uh, loop while the hangar module was just out because I I just I was too excited. I and when I get really excited about something, I have to stay away from it because otherwise I'll obsess and I didn't want to burn out before uh, the Arena Commander um, module even came out. And so I'm just trying, I'm playing this huge game of catch up to figure out like what the plans are and uh, how everything in the universe is going to play out and how this is going to fit together with other things and uh, how um, just how, I guess, Arena Commander and Star Citizen as a whole is going to evolve. I'm just still trying to figure all of that out. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope that uh, you found this useful and uh you can check uh, Cash Blasters out on, well, uh, you're probably on YouTube right now. You can check out our other videos. I think right now we're just playing uh, Spelunky. It's me and uh, three other dudes. We have an organization. You feel you can feel free to apply. We don't really do anything. Um, I am growing more active on the forums. Uh, my handle is the Witchlock. Um, uh, yeah, and thanks for watching. Um, my name's Eric. Uh, it's been good. See you in the verse.